Inside the human body, over 37 trillion cells work in harmony, but only two hold the power to begin life, the egg and the sperm. Each month, one mature egg is released from the ovary and travels through a 10-12 scimitar fallopian tube, the only place where fertilization can occur. The human egg measures about 0.12 millimeters, 10 times larger than a normal cell, protected by a transparent membrane called the zona pellucida. Once released, the egg survives only 12 to 24 hours, a narrow golden window for conception to take place. During ejaculation, more than 200 million sperm are released, but only about 1% will ever reach the cervix, the true start of the journey. Cervical mucus acts as a natural biological filter, allowing only the strongest, healthiest, and most motile sperm to pass through. Inside the seven centimeter long uterus, millions of sperm are destroyed by immune macrophages. Only a few hundred reach the fallopian tubes. The narrow winding tube challenges every sperm. They must swim continuously against fluid currents at an average speed of three millimeters per minute. After one to two hours, the fastest sperm reach the waiting egg, the stage where silence meets destiny. Hundreds of sperm surround the egg, releasing the enzyme hyaluronidase to break the outer cells, but only one can penetrate the protective layer. When the first sperm touches the egg, the acrosome reaction begins, releasing enzymes that dissolve the zona pellucida, opening the gateway to life. As the sperm enters, the egg's electrical potential changes instantly, blocking all others. Fertilization has officially begun. Within seconds, Cortical granules release enzymes that harden the egg's membrane, sealing it from any additional sperm. The sperm's nucleus and the egg's nucleus move closer, each carrying 23 chromosomes, merging into a complete set of 46. The combined DNA contains nearly 3 billion base pairs, defining every inherited trait, from eye color and blood type to temperament and height. After about 24 hours, the zygote begins dividing into two, four, eight, then 16 cells, a process known as mitotic division. After five to seven days, the blastocyst reaches the uterus, attaching to the eight millimeter lining in a process called